So here's how you can use your Machine MK3 or Machine Plus to control Ableton Live's simpler and chop and manipulate samples without using mouse or keyboard. So the workflow is almost as seamless as using the MK3 controller with the machine software. In order to do this, I'm using the free Ableton Live MIDI remote script that I covered in my last video. So if you missed that video, it will be linked in the description down below. So this script allows for control over almost the entire functionality of Simpler with just a few exceptions. And yes, you can even lazy chop, AKA fat slicing which was previously only possible with Push or with a third-party Max for Life device. All right, so here's how well it all actually works without touching the mouse and the keyboard. Press Shift plus File to create a new MIDI track. Go to Browser. Let's go navigate to the folder with my samples. User file, samples. So the sample I've loaded is a sample that I've created myself. So now it's loaded into a simpler device. So yes, in case you didn't know, when you load a sample onto an empty MIDI track, it is automatically loaded into a simpler. You don't need to load simpler beforehand. Hit plugin and now we have access to 99% of simpler's parameters. So I'm just gonna go to keyboard mode and we're gonna change the mode of simpler to slicing. So we can slice by transient, beat, region and manual and manual allows us to lazy chop, basically hitting the pads where we want our slice markers to be. So let's do it. And it's that easy. Incredible. We can also set the start and end of the sample. We don't need to do that with this one, but we can actually fine tune the slice markers using the nudge. There's also an option to disable pad slicing if you want to. I don't know why would you want to do that. A handy volume control is here as well. On the second page, we have a filter. So we can change the filter type and control resonance and cutoff. We can even change the filter circuit with the analog model circuits. We can control how much velocity affects the filter and we can also enable the LFO. On the second page, we can set up our LFO settings. Synced or not synced. We can change the rate of the LFO, etc. I'm not gonna go through all the features. And so there are in total eight pages of parameters. So if you go to the next page, we can also transpose the sample, of course. Pitching it up and down to change the key. And obviously this will also affect the tempo unless we enable warping. Can we enable warping without touching the mouse and the keyboard? Yes, we can. We scroll further to, to the last page of parameters and we can see that we have the option to enable warping and even change the warping algorithm or rather the warp mode. So since it's a melodic sample, I would prefer to have it in complex mode. So basically the only thing we can't really control with this script from machine is the number of bars that the sample is warped as. So now it's warped as four bars. If you want to change that, I don't see a way to do it without using the mouse and the keyboard. But hey, that is still amazing. I mean, if the creator of the script could make the display show the waveform, that would be crazy, but that's probably not possible for third parties. I don't know. Maybe only Ableton can do that with push. Okay, here is a beat that I made with this sample.
Oh, by the way, all the scenes that I used in this beat come from my Ableton Life Packs Drift Wave and Synth Hop Essentials. Check them out from the link in the video description. And if you haven't seen the full video where I go through more of these Ableton Life Remote Scripts features, it's up here. Catch you later. <laughs>